not the first time you come to Holland, uh, am I right? No, I was in Harlem Festival, I think, some 10 years ago. Okay. Yeah. It's a long time ago. Has, uh, do you notice changes or does not, it still feel well, the same? Not much, no. Well, it's the old city hasn't moved. So, okay. Uh, no, it's still the very beautiful city of Harlem. Yeah. But then you came as a visitor, I understood? Uh, no, I think I was there for Pyongyang. Ah, okay. Yeah. Also for, for a book. Uh, yeah, at the time it was at uh, Hogan Bridge. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, I noticed that you've seen a lot of the world, you traveled a lot. Um, what was the most interesting place you visited in your life? I don't know, really. Uh, there's no, no such thing as a most interesting place. They all have... Because when you spend a year in Burma and then you spend a year in Jerusalem, I mean, you can't really compare both. Uh, they're both interesting places. Yeah. So that's why I make books about them. Was it first that you started to travel and then make books? or? Were the, uh, the books the reason for traveling? No, no, I was following my wife and then it was at the beginning for my work and I just happened to take notes. And reading these notes when I was back home, I thought, well, maybe I can do a little, not story, because it started like short stories in magazine in China. And then after a while we thought, well, this is uh, interesting enough, maybe we can make a book with that. So it became a book on uh, Shenzhen, the one on China. Mm -hmm. So it was not like planned, like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to travel, make a book and see how it goes. Yeah, okay. Shenzhen, is that the first book you made? Actually, no, I think it was Aline et les autres, but uh, Shenzhen was the first one that uh, I realized, oh, this is going to be a book. It's just that it, it took a longer time to print mm -hmm. and Aline et les autres was faster to do, so it actually came before. What made you uh, create that book? Well, I was uh, doing a lot of short stories in a magazine and um, uh, I've done plenty of that and um, one of these stories I thought, oh, that's interesting, I'm going to make like a second one like that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what happened with Shenzhen, like I did a short story of me being in China and I thought, oh, that's fun to draw myself in there, so I'll do another short story and it became a book. So it was nice to try all different sorts of uh, narrative approach yeah. in magazines and from that, like I would, I would prefer one. And that's a bit what I've done recently with my blog. I put mm -hmm. stuff sometimes on my blog and uh, I think, oh, this is funny, I'll do another one. Sometimes I just don't continue. And uh, from these short stories, one of them kind of become a book. So they kind of evolve from something that you like and then it grows uh, into a bigger story. Yeah, that, that sometimes you think, oh, it's just one short story is going to be enough. Sometimes you think, oh, I can make another one like humoristically on that subject and then you do a third one and then oh well it can be actually a whole series. I have to be honest uh, the, the first book I read from you is this one. Yeah. Uh, what's the, the English or French title? In English it's Hostage. Okay. And in French it's called uh, Sans Fuir. Let's see if the camera sees it. <laughs> and I, I gotta say um, I, I really enjoyed reading it but uh, I, I noticed when I, I looked at your uh, other books um, I was curious what else did you make, that uh, most of your books are about your own experiences, but this one is not. This is an experience from someone else. Yeah. Um, why did you make that change? Well, I didn't... Uh, it was just because I heard that story and then I've met uh, Christophe André. And uh, he told me the whole detail of the story and I thought that was very fascinating. And uh, right away I, I, I thought, well, oh, it would be an interesting comic to make. And uh, he agreed. Uh, so I said, well, one day I'm going to do that book because it's, it's very interesting. The whole, the whole experience of being kidnapped and be able to, uh, to escape mm -hmm. uh, was just fantastic to my eyes. And uh, to have all the detail was very precious. And I thought, well, you know, I would like to explain in very close details what it is to be uh, a kidnapped. So it's a really uh, big book. <laughs> it is, really yeah. took the time to tell the story. Yeah. Uh, how, how how did he react it when he read the story about his own life? Um, he was part of the process because okay. I didn't want him to um, have bad surprise. So yeah. when I was doing uh, like 10 page, I would send it to him and he would give me a few comments because uh, I wanted to be as close as possible to what yeah. he has experienced. Uh, so yeah, for me, that was the only way to work. I didn't want him to receive the book and say, oh, well, you know, it was not exactly like that or like that. So he saw the whole thing while I was working on it. So it's an organic process with him? Uh, yeah, kind of. Just yeah. uh, like, a, 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 like a final control that uh, I don't use words that he wouldn't use. And uh, 
it didn't make a lot of change, so that was cool. I was okay. in the good direction, and um, at the end, I think I, I wasn't changing anything. So we yeah, were just going along. It was easier than I thought, actually. How long did you work on the book? I spent two years. Two years. Okay, yeah. that's quite some time. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I was just going along with all the notes I had and the recording I had of Christophe, and I was going like, okay, first day this happened, and second day. And uh, I realized at one point that wow, it's going to be like 300 pages, then oh wow, it's going to be 350, and oh, it's going to be 400, and then oh, it's 450. Yeah, so yeah, it grew bigger than I would imagine, but that's what I needed to tell that story. I was really captivated by the story um, because what I liked about it is that uh, you really have his point of view, and, and the other people, you have no idea what they're saying. So. Yeah pretty much as he experienced it. That's right, that's what I wanted. I want to be uh, like an immersive experience. Uh, I could have worked with flashback or uh, go forward, like saying oh, two weeks later, but I wanted to stay really and experience um, what he has experienced, like the time going very slowly, things being super repetitive, mm -hmm. going always at the same food, same place, and just going in his head crazy yeah and to do that i needed to have a, a long slow paced book yeah yeah it worked out uh, quite nice um is, is there a, a message you want to try to bring to the reader with this book not really it's just uh, i like that experience it's it's for me it was like uh, uh i was always been fascinated to people who was kidnapped like I, I always wondered what what would i do how, how would i cope with a situation where you have no control over your life yeah. And you don't know how long you're going to stay there because it mm -hmm. can be years or it can yeah. be weeks you just don't know um so uh it was kind of me just uh, try to, to un un answer that question but we don't really know i mean once you're in that situation you can tell but otherwise it's it's impossible so i've yeah. learned that during that book but still i thought it was interesting to because um, most of the kidnap story you have the people that comes back and they don't want to talk about it, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. So uh, for Christophe, it was different. Since he escaped, uh, he felt actually quite good about the whole thing because he just okay. okay, I you know I came back on my own. Yeah. And uh, he felt actually quite superior to, and he has he had to push himself in direction that he would have never done. So for him, it was kind of a positive experience, like very yeah. hard but positive. Okay. So he had no bad feeling about it, and he could really yeah. talk about the whole situation. And maybe while he was working with you on the book, it also can help him to process uh, the whole thing? Uh, well, he had done that because that was like well, 20 years after. Ah, okay. So, so it's been a yeah, I met him a few years when he came back. Uh, and then I, I did the recording, and I've kept this recording for a long time before I worked on the book. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a long time ago. He, he was there in 1997, I think. Now you make books yourself but do you also uh, like to read other books uh, uh, comic books or graphic novels yeah of course, what kind yeah. of books do you like to read well i've read sam peter book yesterday the claudia yeah. book yeah very very nice uh, i read mangas i read all sorts of stuff i read a lot of french uh, new um, new authors and uh, i do go to the library to borrow okay. books with my children and i take myself i buy some and uh, I have some that my friends uh, lend me. Yeah. So yeah, I have a pile of comic books next to my my my, my bed, and uh, I don't know. It's interesting. There's so many good comic books. Yeah. yeah. Do you also take some some inspiration for it, or do you have other things that you help you get inspired to for your style in writing? Oh yes, I do get influenced a lot because this has to do with the fact that I've read. Um, long mangas that uh, has like a, a rhythm of turning the page mm -hmm. that is very different from what we have in Europe. Sometimes when you read uh, Akira, uh, like you turn the page and it's just a fraction of seconds on like four or five pages. It's yeah. really fascinating. Uh, so I wanted to have that like page turning with slow paced. So that comes from actually reading mangas. And, um, and I remember reading uh, Chester Brown, Louis Riel, where he talks about um, a historical fact where Canada was uh, fighting uh, back uh, in the West. And uh, so the, the future of Canada was, 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 at, uh, was playing right there. 
and he shows that on a bird's eye view, very distant. Okay. But the historical uh, tension is so strong that you you read that like it's an action movie, but it's yeah. very in the distance. And I thought, wow, that's interesting. So that yeah. was another influence. Okay. And uh, I guess many more. Yeah. yeah. Uh, reading book by Maus when I was younger by Spiegelman was a big. Uh, for me and all the people of my generation, it was a turning point for yeah. comic books. Now you are here to promote uh, this book, uh, which is very nice. I mean, I'm really happy that I have a chance to have a chat with you uh, because I, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, but uh, are you already working on something new or um, you still... Yeah, at the moment I'm, um, there's going to be a book uh, coming out next week in France. Uh, okay. And it's about the humoristic book I do with my children. The bad parenting advice. So I have done three, and this is the fourth one. Yeah. Four and last one. Uh, so this is what I've been working uh, after that. Yeah. Okay. So we have something to look forward to. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, Scratch is going to publish it. Uh, um, I mean, the the, the four volume. Uh, yeah. Maybe not all this year, but they, they plan to do it. Okay. Well, that's nice. Well, it was really nice to have a chat with you. Okay. Uh, nice that you uh, come to visit uh, the festival here in Harlem. Yeah. Pleasure. And I'll say, uh, well, enjoy yourself. Uh, Thanks a lot. And uh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome.